Okay. I'm Maud Garrett. Let's hop into it. Get it? Because I hopped in. Cool. The fast and the I'm furious. thirsty. <laughs> that was my... Paul, remember I said, let's get thirsty? Sorry, yeah, I like puns. Doing? What can I say? I ever... like big puns and I cannot lie. What? Yo, here I go, here I go, here I go again. Are you into the pussy? Meow. I did one scratch your eye. Hey, uh, let's get a bit furious. <laughs> That's so bad. Okay. Um, it's a frap. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, it goes through his system, so it's like, mm, it's a crap. <laughs> Who doesn't? I like a guy with a bit of burn. <gasps> Not chlamydia. Um, Mine would be like Darth Maud. There we go. Because my name's Maud and I'm obsessed with Star Wars. Darth Maud. Yeah. Star oh, Wars and Zelda. And you can All never right. travel into Mordor. Does he put the whore in hoarder? The, yeah. Is it? <laughs> no, it's pretty good. Okay, yeah. there you go, yeah. I know this is your world. This is yeah. comic books. I love to pop a cap if you get my drift. Marvel, but. Um, yeah, because no matter how tough you are, you know, there are certain circumstances that you can't really prepare for. Like a fucking snake in the bush, like how, you know, that could just be. It's a euphemism as well. It's really. Oh, someone's got something on her mind. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but you're right. You, like in the you, <laughs> you might want to take care of some stuff before you come and do these press junkets. Speaking of Pratt, he'll also be voicing his character from Jurassic World. Let's face it, you can never get enough of the Pratt story. That's why I choose to press debate. But after pining for Chris Pine, now you're pratting for Chris Pratt? Oh, I do want a Pratt's debate. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Unless you're making a fan fiction from the fan fiction. Yeah. Mm. I'm, so the no, fan no, fiction. I'm making fan fiction. What is that? Fliction. Oh. And you like to bust out a few rounds of a game, and then you like to wind it down by busting out a little bit over the nudie Rudy happening. <laughs> Those were all real good. Thank you. you. Those were real good. Thank you for that. That was really good. <laughs> Busting out while you bust out. Mm -hmm. Once you go, Peach, you never dry reach. You hit it here first. Uh, it's a fight. He's a pirate, Edward. Have you ever called him Edward? Because <laughs> he's a he's a pirate. I want to know if you've heard this one yet. You know, you've got the Ryan Reynolds, uh, Emma Stone, Age, Stone Age. Ahaha. No. no, no. Have you heard it? No. Oh, and I've never really seen one. A, d a dead person? Is that what you're saying? Or a ghost. I've never seen dead people. Either, either of them. Either <laughs> well, yeah, I just, I, I, maybe it's because in my life I haven't had like a lot of death around me. Not me. That's I why will, I have hope. No. Fully acknowledging hope. that that's possible. No, DJ. no. Yeah. Also, best episode. And I want her after we're done. She's like, mm, ten points for Gryffindor. Like, <laughs> <laughs> don't you mean Gryffindor? Uh, oh. I can't stop. Ten points for I Gryffindor. won't. How did you? How does your brain work so fast that you have that? That's what I really admire. Just and I think it. I think we all see ourselves in her a little bit. Yeah. She's close to well, our generation. Well, some see themselves in yeah. her more than others. Okay, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm all <laughs> kinds of cloudy on it because I just have, like, just a massive crush on her. Just, like, <laughs> just, she's, she is, like, the... Do you get a Rousey? <laughs> Do I get a Rousey? <laughs> Pre you think she's thirsty? That's Give it a baby sip. Go ahead. A baby sip. Mm -hmm. I wish. <laughs> I, I honestly, for me, I, I don't think it's gonna be hard for me. It shouldn't be hard for you. No. It shouldn't be hard when you're telling your kids about uh, sex. Well, I think hard. it comes from a place <laughs> of. Sorry, I, I should not have said that. I didn't hear what you said. And I wish I had. Uh, well, have, have the whole Fantastic Four be black? Um, Why not? Or have Sue Storm, have Sue Storm be adopted in, his, in yeah. Hispanic I'm and Reed Richards be uh, Meryl Streep? Meryl Streep. I'd smash Meryl Streep. Oh yeah. You'd get deep with Meryl Streep. I she would knows want to like get some talent rubbed off. I'd get under the. It would have been a really cool idea if Hermione didn't get affected because she still can't see, and then you were just left with a witch who has no magic really, and then pepper spray. I know. But if that's not how it works, that's then not Hermione how it works. is out. That would have so been a really sorry. cool idea. All right, fight. so didn't we're even down. See it coming. Mm -hmm. We're down to ten <laughs> Batman's. <laughs> I'm Maud Garrett, and may the source be with you. Clever pun. Am I doing yeah. another one? Hello. Oh. Is a condom in there because you're about to fuck this up? Did you guys read Grapes of Wrath? No. We didn't have to do Sounds that. like angry wine. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anymore. But uh, what happened was as we had a little thing in our house, and Bowman, who you may remember, he used to be an editor here. Hold you on. When you're doing penis conversations, uh, never start the story. We were having a little thing in our house. We were a little thing in our house. <laughs> it was my pee-pee. Um, maybe the yeah. fact that uh, the Robbie Buckley and the guy playing Lowell are like the how do you say that name? Lol. Lol. Like, Lol. 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 Yeah, Is sure. his brother Ruffle? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh boo. sorry. I'm sorry. It was, oh my God, was it like Wallaby? I'd be like, oh God, we. Well, luckily America Walla, doesn't have we'd animals. Well, we'd be like. We, yeah. I would hang out with 
the rock for like a month straight. A month. I'd like to put that out. Rock bottom with rock. We would never reach rock bottom. I, I, I don't know. It's like I Macklemore mean, over here. Yeah, you're in a Macklemore mood. Macklemore, Macklemore, guys. Where was that? Oh, Macklemore. boy. I made Diggly, it Diggly Doo sounds like like the thir- fourth evolved Diglett Pokemon. Diglett dig, Diggly dig. Drill, drill, drill. Wow. I That's pretty wow. nerdy. Pretty nerdy. Hey! Though. I know my poke I, shit. There is a British show that I love. You know how to poke, Mom. You know, serious, I think I'm going to start meditating. Don't joke with me. I'm People not, swear by it. Do it. If yeah. you if if you are making fun right now, no, so do you want to come I meditate I feel, tomorrow? I think I need to feel centered. Do you want to come meditate tomorrow? A bit less, right? No, I really. <laughs> um, what are, what are your other um, Spotify playlists that you have? I like Fun Ye. Okay, I also have Fun Bino. I, if you wanted to know, and I, I kind of like this because I have Kara OK. What's so that? It's my karaoke list. Karaoke list. Karaoke. <laughs> Pressure MG? off you. There it is, MG. MG. Yep, Done. like the car, classic yes, with classic. the top down. Yeah, my dad's first car was an MG. The casing of the toy is yellow because it's supposed to be like the the yolk of an egg. Do you, yolk. The yolk. <laughs> That's all yolk. Stop. Wait, what's over there? Is it really? Hey, let's get them. Let's get them on the table talk. They're gonna come over here and like steak us. Yeah, oh, we should leave. Pun intended, maybe. steak, meat, anyway. Oh, I kind of feel like Sith Pussy would be better because if you really want to spurt it out there, it's a hard one to get your mouth around. No pun, definitely pun intended. Um, sure, and so sure, if you're sure. going to use it, you've got to be able to get it out. Uh, the Atom, we have Ray finally talking about shrinking. Shrinking. And then he blows himself up. Although, that uh, was we have cute. A, we have a, we He's have the a... only guy that actually wants to invest in shrinkage. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's a new Canon camera that's putting the Mega in Megapixel. In the entire galaxy. What about the Millennium? Oh, what about the Maudlinium? Oh, that's good. I like that. There yeah. you go. Sure, no, I guess they had a point. They had a point. That your boobs are big enough for Power Girl? I think so. Yeah. I, think, I, I mean, I, I, the conversation between us probably Power should point. be who was our second favorite show of the year, right? This is going to get intense, guys. It's down to the wire. I love the wire. It's like having sex while camping. It's fucking intense. Nah. Ha-ha. Steve, what's your hot banging sex like? It's intense. But silent? Hold on, are you doing it camping? Fucking intense. What are you talking about here? It's another joke I've used before and I really like it, so I just have it again. That's fair. Yeah, I, I liked it a lot when I saw it on a Target t-shirt. I'm gonna do puns for the next 30 seconds. Puns. Star Trek puns. Go. Okay, well I did, uh, we're gonna go boldly go where no one's gone before by doing this pun game. Okay. Um, I really think that this could be the final frontier of uh, in, in epic, epic interviewing, actually. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Indeed. All right, let's let's start it off. Let's kick it off. I thought I had. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, twice. Come up with a pun? Yeah. Oh, my God, no. I'm incapacitated. You're not even going to make the trek up the mountain? See that? <laughs> no. uh, this is terrible. This is actually getting into the darkness. Wow. I'm making you look bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is heading. Yeah. No, I'm going to warp it out of here in a second. Okay. All right. No. That's it. I'm done. My engine room is... Sorry, I'm losing the thread. I'm losing the thread. I'll beam you out of here. Oh, wow. Good stuff. Uh, so, which final frontier do you want this to take you to? Um, you know, the next great project. Whatever to go is. where you've never gone before? Always. Always as an actor. <laughs> Team Rocket are also featured in this parody, which manages to cram in as many terrible puns, even though there is no such thing as a bad pun. Call me Christmas, what's the difference between a red and a green trailer? Well, I'll tell you, Maud, red is for the violent version of the trailer, and the green is for the family-friendly version. Hold on, does that mean Conan's going barbarian? <coughs> Not your best. Oh. Sword and axe action. The list goes on, and my axe. Mm-hmm. I said it. I can't go a goddamn day without a goddamn Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones reference. Gosh, you're getting so overwhelmed by this, you're almost becoming Legolas. It sounds, it sounds like Bot's trying to be Bond. I'm Bot. Ro, Bot. <sighs> Bonds. But first, let's take a look at the role Matt Damon was born to play. Born to play. <sighs> Jason Bourne. <laughs> Bass Burner got himself a new look too, playing the metal manipulating Magneto. I've noticed though that there's no purple in this suit like he used to traditionally wear, uh, but I guess those days of fuchsia have passed. No one has necessarily taught the new crew the ways of the dark side since it is 30 years later. And maybe mm. these guys are actually joining forces Pun intended. to restore the order of the Sith. All right, are you ready for this one? Okay, let go. Lego. 
I guess it's a story on Lego. He's probably having sex with the Lego girlfriend. So he made a blocks box? <laughs> but it does look like Val's luck might be turning around. Steam users are now able to get refunds for their purchased games. That's sure to let off some steam. Not just games. Mm, no, I don't yeah. want to. Oh, this is a mantra. Also for those modders out there. <laughs> That's why though it seems that PlayStation users are really making the most of the name. Play. Station because they make up 51% of all <gasps> console based traffic. Legacy of the Void will too focus on one species. In news to shock, needed a pun. And are you down with Danny and Hadiz? Let us know. Bye! Hi. Coming in at number 10, details on Toy Story 4 were announced. Mr. Pixar John Lasseter said that this movie would follow the tale of Woody looking for his true love, Bo Peep, with the help of his buddy Buzz. So literally, it's about Woody and his mod. Wood. Children watch this show. Would it be made of wood? Would the Woody be made of wood? How many woods could Woody wood wood if a wood wood could wood wood? The Krampus. Hold on, can we just like talk about Krampus for a second? In what world does it not sound like the awful pains that women get during All that right, I thought you hated this. Back off. Are you hungry? Do you like to game? Then you must love the Hunger Games. Whoa, you obviously don't get it. <laughs> don't get it? Really? The Hunger Games? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> May the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> They're bashed. Am I right? I'm Nick Toast. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'd like to see a source-fed porn parody. I'm not saying I'd like to be in it, but I'm definitely like an actor and I can like... It'd be like force-fed, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and let's not even talk about Thor. Yeah, just because it's the Thor spot with you. Yeah, puns. You know what happens when you roll like a d20? I'm a thief. See that? Didn't even see it coming. Whoa, where'd you get that? From your pocket. Thief! Rolled a 20! Critical! And I'm a level 3 fetishist dwarf named Gilnt. I practice the fine art of fetishism, and I have a whip named Whippy Goldberg that electrocutes those who stand in my way. And whenever I defeat a foe, I exclaimed, Guilty as charged! That's kind of our bit of a dwarf. Thank you. And, um, everyone's, everyone in the office has seen you a little whippy. Tell me about my dick? Yeah! <laughs> Give me a main piece and then a side piece. Are we talking about guns still? Or is that your sex life? In lighter news, it seems that even the juggernaut that is Disney can flop it like it's hot. Dear God. Hey Steve, what was your AOL username back in the day? Uh, it was Jedi Knight 2, and the knight was N-I-T-E. That's actually really awesome. What about yours? What was your... Um, I was more delicious, because I was more delicious than everyone else. At 13, okay. I feel weird. And then, slam! The Frankenstein doll hits the ground. Yeah. And I'm like, <gasps> I get up and I like, I'm like, Blake, 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 wake up, Blake. And he's like, what, what, what's going on, Did man? You say Blake up. Like, Blake up, Blake up. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Apparently his role had to be beefed up to entice him, and I guess it worked because now he's Beefing the receptionist. Because I love the things to be beefed up. <laughs> Beef. What else you got? Come on, I'm like, yeah. What yeah. do you know about rhinos? They're horny. Ah! I like that you're wearing the throne today, Maud. I had almost thrown up seeing you this morning. Well, you won't be getting a throner, will you? No, sure won't. Not when I see you. But Windows 8 kind of bombed. It's true. Many tech spurts. Do you like that one? It's good. Fact about Alex Winter, he was in Lost Boys. He's mm. one of the vampires in that film. Wow. As well, which is kind of insane. So Winter is coming. And also, <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. No. <laughs> in other news, Star Wars fans have had their sabers lit over the announcement of Andy Serkis's character, who's oddly named Supreme Leader Snoke. They're really dropping the Snoke bomb there. <laughs> It's a massive spoiler alert happening this second. We're going to spoil some shit. Let's go. Turns out, according to the latest issue of Star Wars, the comic book series, episode six, written by Jason Aaron, Han Solo was actually married during the whole first Star Wars movie. <laughs> Not so solo after all, was he? <laughs> what up, you scruffy looking nerd herders? Guys, what a beautiful podcast. We got deep. We went into some we got weird deep. places. <laughs> It's over. We got gone. so Meryl. We got deep impact all on up in this. <laughs> Maud, thank you for moderating. <gasps> Did you mean that? Oh, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> we all good with Pine and Justice and Wonder Woman. Don't you think he'll be in Wonder Woman? Am I right? <laughs> I wonder how it'll all go down. <laughs> Sam, I think you hate me. I feel. I feel it. <laughs> 
How do you like your eggs, Steve? I like them uh, over easy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like them sunny side up. Are you trying to say over easy? <laughs> Now good. was that a pity laugh or was that a real? <laughs> yes, it, it, D. No, it was. It was. It was a. T it's it was a laugh of a recognition. No, it's weird because it was. It was definitely a laugh, but it was more like a ha ha ha. Good, good one. Okay. Because it was laugh. funny, but it was like good one. Yeah. You know, it was like a, okay. oh, here she goes with her Why fucking Why is it puns. that we only say <laughs> good one when we actually don't think it was a good one? Hold I thought that on. was a good one. You thought it was a good you one? Yeah, but back I just... up, son. So no, here's the that thing. was clever. Was a good one. No, so I'm not thought it was a good that it one. wasn't a good one. But when, whenever I feel like in the past someone has <laughs> over good easy one, has ovaries in it. It's accepting that it is good, but it is not. If it really was good, you'd be laughing. You'd be like, "Oh, that's so good." I think it's just one of those things where it's like, I love puns. Right. I do. I think they're clever, and I think it's not easy to come up with good puns. I'm not I think sure I right. want to hear the rest of this sentence. But do I? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> coming there's such a thing as too many a, too many puns and that's when you get the okay is a good one i still like no, it maybe you are immune to my charm of the puns my well here's something you got to know about me and this is just you're me getting person. punished this is something <laughs> this is something about me personally i don't get really annoyed by like <laughs> there's me i always have like the let it go let him put it up there and then still let it go so then i start laughing and appreciating it that's what i'm having now <laughs> that's good Punish. it's good no 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 it's good it's just that i i so i can't like you can you can put like some people have a button and like you push that button too many times and they're like done mm. for me you just pop. I, there's an infinity amount of times you can push that button, mm -hmm. and it's, it doesn't. All you'll get from me is like, a, okay, <laughs> all right. Like my version of a shut the fuck up is <laughs> all right, all right, yeah, okay, that's enough. I've just created pandemony, really. So. Pandemonium. Pan pandemonium. I mean, pandemonium. Damn it! Damn it! I blew it. I didn't think it through. I was like pandemony. You're all yeah, right, I'll use girl. It. You're all right. Maybe I'll just have a five. Speaking of pandemony, you guys ever had panic? You know how I like up? my eggs. Punny side up. <laughs> One for the comic book fans. James Wan has been announced as the director for not only Aquaman, but Robotech. That's not one, but two huge movies for the fellow Aussie. How many, uh, how many name puns are you gonna do for this video? More than one. He Wan upped himself when he flexed his talents in a new genre of film for Fast and Furious 7, which went on to smash the box office in a way that no one predicted, having now made more than $1.5 billion, officially surpassing the earnings of Frozen. You get one more pun, okay? <laughs> and made one. Seven meant that James is now an in-demand director and decided to hop into another big genre, this time the ever-popular comic book movie. This deal is absolutely confirmed. It is one and dusted. <laughs> the dotted line has been signed. James will be working with Jason Momoa, who we know best as Khal Drogo in season one of Game of Thrones. That's <laughs> You're done with the pun. He's also a member of the Justice League, so he'll be in that two-part Justice League movie. Oh, it's not just one part? And at the moment, Juan is committed to his next project, directing Conjuring 2, set for a 2016 release. It sounds like one hell of a scary movie. No! <laughs> no? Okay. You're done. Um, no, no, I'll eat them now. Tell us in the comments below, are you excited about the news of James Wan directing Aquaman? Do you think it's a good idea that Sony is giving CPR to Robotech? And are my puns so awful that you want to hurt yourself like Sam? And do you wonder where I get mm. them from? Wonder, wonder. So many fucking <laughs> puns. Someone doesn't appreciate them. Um, <laughs> yeah. Did your face drool and your pants pull? Is that a puddle down here? Oh! Oh no. Here it all, here it all is collected it. right here into this bottle. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, everybody. If you drink this right now? <laughs> Why is this gross? I know it's just water, but I feel like it's vagina. <laughs> oh, you got your now own it's pants wet. wet. <laughs> oh. No. Are you not entertained? Nailed it. I'll show myself out. Walking away a winner. I'm all about the metaphor. I don't speak English. I'm Australian. <laughs> metaphor whore. Metaphor. <laughs> no puns. I also said no puns. My Where is this rule book? I have like nothing to Why say then. <laughs> there, there should be like a pun, a pun limiter. Just like Can someone make a, com a compilation of every pun Mod has made on SourceFed <laughs> in the past three months? Someone could do it. It yeah. could. That's Somebody do that will. first.